Secondly, when Tsai Ing-wen ran her leadership campaign, she focused on maintenance of status quo without specifying how she would do that. So a lot of people, after she took office, after the May 20th and October 10th speeches, have cast certain doubts in terms of whether Tsai Ing-wen will be effectively maintain the status quo. As at that backdrop, Hong Xiuzhu's visit will have a particular significance not only to KMT but also to other people who are questioning how Tsai Ing-wen will maintain status quo across Taiwan Straits. And for Hong Xiuzhu, she would have three tasks ahead of her. The first one is to reaffirm KMT's long-standing position on 92 consensus and the new position ushered in by Lian Zhan and Hu Jintao in 2005. Mm -hmm. And the second one is particularly important, is to introduce the new peace platform, a new party platform adopted on September 4th. And thirdly, certainly she would hope to establish a high-level party-to-party -party communication platform in this particular instance, we see both parties will have seven people joining the meeting. So she would establish new party communication platform in the event of future needs. She will be able to help Taiwanese to resolve their issues both on Taiwan or in mainland.